Hello, Saturday the 6th of October 2018. This is Dorchester. It's come up to 20 past 6 British summer time. There's a slight breeze and there's a little bit of mist, which don't usually go together. That's the Premier Inn. That's Costa, which opens in about half an hour's time. And that there, that there be the station. Hmm. Okay, the 0658 train this morning is shown as running. That's what National Rail say. That's what the website says. In reality, who knows? I'm going to take a chance. If not, there will be Plan B. Oh, doghouse first. No, the swan first, then the doghouse. It's all up in the air because Plan B and the trains and the strike. Well, the station indicator board say the same thing as National Rail. So I bought my ticket, which I'd have to have anyway. And I'm going to chance it. Because I need to find the equivalent of that. And I think I know where they are. But I'm not altogether sure. Sometimes Google Maps, not the best. Right, yo. Time hop, babe, and then the Dilberts. Utter confusion, well, at least for me, because that's the side it normally comes in, and it came in on platform too. However, off to find Costa. Look, dawn. Red dawn. Mm, pollution. Costa, we're getting a bacon roll. Yay. I'm, I'm now in the swan, the other side, uh, table 6. Update on licensing. Sundays on Sundays, not be until 9 o'clock. However, I've ordered a bacon roll without butter, which is good. And stop the rain. So I need to get the audio under control. It's a hard life. I'm kind of happy now. Yeah. Apparently that's yeah. 9 not 6. It happens. Yeah. At 9 o'clock I was at the bar with my Wellesley 50p off voucher. And I came back with this. This is Slasher. Again from Piddle. Ooh. Umbrellas outside. 5.1% uh, alcohol by volume. Mm. It's slightly too cold. Mm. Nicely lemony. Refreshingly lemony. And not overpoweringly lemony. Nice bit of finish. B plus in a bit. 5.1 though. Sleeping by lunchtime. Well, here I am. And let's see if I can zoom in. There's the dog. Well, a dog. It's the man, there's wooden, there's wood underneath you. So it's not real. Sorry. Anyway, great start. This is Freestyle by Fine Tuned Brewery. 4.5% alcohol by volume. And it says Golden Ale Simcoe Hopped. Well, that's excellent. Ooh, that's fruity, hoppy, slightly sweet. I'm gonna say B plus in a bit. Uh, ah. Carrying on from yesterday. Ooh. This is from 8 Arch Brewing, local. This is Square Logic 4.2% alcohol by volume, which I've already spilled. Oh, fruity, fruity aroma. Hmm, sharp, fruity. A bit tropical. And there's people looking in through the window. They need to come in. 
I think that's really good. There's a fruity, bitter finish. I could drink that for quite some time at 4.2%. Probably could. B. And the local brewery. On cask and on gravity. Just been tapped. I've migrated now onto multi beers. This is from the Six Penny Brewery, I have to ask. This is Six Penny Best, 6D Best, and I'm old enough to remember what 6D actually meant. Here we go. <coughs> I've had a bit already. The nuts are great. Mm, slightly malty aroma. Sweet, malty. I'm not this is a back of your throat. Mm, that's nice. There's a multi finish as well. I'd say B plus and a bit for the all out maltiness. There's the pump clip. <coughs> and there's the uh, good, good coconuts rum stout. 6.7% Cern Um <coughs> Not safe for children, families, work. Huge sweet coconut aroma. More sweet, less coconutty in the body. I'd be tempted to be plus plus just for the aroma. But on balance, B plus in a bit. 6.7%. Okay, keep an eye on the time. So this is the last before I move on. Eight Arch, there you go. Yeah, new favourite brewery. This is Easy Life. Um, he says slowly. 5% alcohol by volume. It's lovely, isn't it? The Bohemians, absolutely brilliant. Lovely hoppy aroma. Now we're going the multi base. And the hoppy, oh, hoppy hop fruity. Back. Oh, I'll tell you what, hop back to a cracking beer. You never get it. Absolute brilliant one. Some of that typhoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Yes, and now it's just a little scary coach next one. Oh, mm. it's a oh, yeah. when you're living with somebody. Okay. It's a New England double IPA, so it's fruity, sharp. The alcohol is not particularly well hidden. You can taste the alcohol. It's a fruity, bitter finish. I like it. It tastes stronger than a lot of them are far stronger than this. B plus plus.